Dream meaning of apparel. Seeing apparel in your dream is interpreted to a stranger woman. This woman is someone who is neither from family nor amongst friends. She is someone stranger who will seduce, confuse, and turn his upside down for the one who had this dream. Apparel in a dream has also a different interpretation which is wealth, joy abundance, and happiness. One who had this dream will live a happy and easy life and will not face many difficulties in his business life and social life. Seeing a dream about changing your apparel. This dream refers to an increase in your status of business and social life and maybe a job change. You may experience positive developments and encounter many good chances. Buying apparel in your dream. It means that the dream owner cannot get the turnover he expects in his business. For this reason, it is going to be a financial difficulty, a bad day to spend a lot of trouble paying checks and bills. Searching for apparel in your dream. It means that one who had seen this dream is not satisfied with his income and chasing better opportunities and analyzing his current works. Getting apparel from someone in your dream. It is expressed as good chance and fortune for the dream owner. It means that the luck of the owner of the dream will continue and he will reach his goals. The dream owner is going to have beautiful and surprising developments. Losing your clothes in your dream. It is interpreted as hardship and economic difficulties. The one who had this dream might have to face some tough times and might try to pay his debts by borrowing more money and this will lead to more complicated situations. Packing up your apparel in your dream. It is said that this dream refers to the savings and investments made considering the future. The owner of the dream knows that he should save as much money as he can, he knows where to spend money and he lives without forgetting his tomorrow. A dream is a succession of images, ideas, emotions, and sensations that usually occur involuntarily in the mind during certain stages of sleep. The content and purpose of dreams are not fully understood, though they have been a topic of scientific speculation as well as a subject of philosophical and religious interest, throughout recorded history. Dream interpretation is the attempt at drawing meaning from dreams and searching for an underlying message. The scientific study of dreams is called onirology. Dreams mainly occur in the rapid eye movement REM stage of sleep when brain activity is high and resembles that of being awake. REM sleep is revealed by continuous movements of the eyes during sleep. At times, dreams may occur during other stages of sleep. However, these dreams tend to be much less vivid or memorable. The length of a dream can vary, they may last for a few seconds, or approximately 20 to 30 minutes. People are more likely to remember the dream if they are awakened during the REM phase. The average person has three to five dreams per night, and some may have up to seven, however, most dreams are immediately or quickly forgotten. Dreams tend to last longer as the night progresses. During a full eight-hour night sleep, most dreams occur in the typical two hours of REM. Opinions about the meaning of dreams have varied and shifted through time and culture. Many endorse the Freudian theory of dreams, that dreams reveal insight into hidden desires and emotions. Other prominent theories include those suggesting that dreams assist in memory formation, problem solving, or simply are a product of random brain activation. The earliest recorded dreams were acquired from materials dating back approximately 5,000 years, in Mesopotamia where they were documented on clay tablets. In the Greek and Roman periods, the people believed that dreams were direct messages from deities or deceased persons, and that they predicted the future. 
Some cultures practice dream incubation with the intention of cultivating dreams that are of prophecy. Sigmund Freud, who developed the psychological discipline of psychoanalysis, wrote extensively about dream theories and their interpretations in the early 1900s. He explained dreams as manifestations of one's deepest desires and anxieties, often relating to repressed childhood memories or obsessions. Furthermore, he believed that virtually every dream topic, regardless of its content, represented the release of sexual tension. In the interpretation of dream, Freud developed a psychological technique to interpret dreams and devised a series of guidelines to understand the symbols and motifs that appear in our dreams. In modern times, dreams have been seen as a connection to the unconscious mind. They range from normal and ordinary to overly surreal and bizarre. Dreams can have varying natures, such as being frightening, exciting, magical, melancholic, adventurous, or sexual. The events in dreams are generally outside the control of the dreamer, with the exception of lucid dreaming, where the dreamer is self-aware. Dreams can at times make a creative thought occur to the person or give a sense of inspiration. Dream interpretation is the process of assigning meaning to dreams. In many ancient societies, such as those of Egypt and Greece, dreaming was considered a supernatural communication or a means of divine intervention, whose message could be interpreted by people with these associated spiritual powers. In modern times, various schools of psychology and neurobiology have offered theories about the meaning and purpose of dreams. Most people currently appear to interpret dream content according to the Freudian theory of dreams in countries, as found by a study conducted in the United States, India, and South Korea. People appear to believe dreams are particularly meaningful, they assign more meaning to dreams than to similar waking thoughts. For example, people report they would be more likely to cancel a trip they had planned that involved a plane flight if they dreamt of their plane crashing the night before than if they thought of their plane crashing the night before or the Department of Homeland Security issued a federal warning. However, people do not attribute equal importance to all dreams. People appear to use motivated reasoning when interpreting their dreams. They are more likely to view dreams confirming their waking beliefs and desires to be more meaningful than dreams that contradict their waking beliefs and desires. Why do we dream? There are several hypotheses and concepts as to why we dream. Are dreams merely part of the sleep cycle or do they serve some other purpose? Possible explanations for why we dream include To represent unconscious desires and wishes To interpret random signals from the brain and body during sleep To consolidate and process information gathered during the day To work as a form of psychotherapy From converging evidence and new research methodologies, researchers have speculated that dreaming is offline memory reprocessing, consolidates learning and memory tasks, is a subsystem of the waking default network, which is active during mind wandering and daydreaming. Dreaming could be seen as cognitive simulation of real life experiences, participates in the development of cognitive capabilities, is psychoanalytic, Dreams are highly meaningful reflections of unconscious mental functioning. Is a unique state of consciousness that incorporates three temporal dimensions, experience of the present, processing of the past, and preparation for the future. Provides a psychological space where overwhelming, contradictory, or highly complex notions can be brought together by the dreaming ego that would be unsettling while awake. 
This process serves the need for psychological balance and equilibrium. As with many things concerning the brain and unconscious thought, there is so much that remains unknown about dreaming. Dreams are difficult to study in a laboratory. As technology and new research techniques are developed, the understanding of dreams will continue to grow.